Hi, my name's Pumpkin Amy, and I just won a 60 man tournament with this deck. We're playing uh, in Steuben's Showdown. If you don't know them, they're a Twitch streamer, um, much like myself. So you should go check out their channel if you can. Anyway, we were playing a single prize tournament and I got this inspiration from, again, another streamer. Um, so I'm gonna put all of their links and my link in the description. So if you'd like to come check out our channels, that would be amazing, thank you so much. So, so, <laughs> this is a huge pivot deck. And if you're gonna be playing single prizes, um, obviously damage is key. Hooper does 90 damage for one energy. That is gigantic, right? Okay, so, uh, <laughs> but the catch is that uh, the, if this Pokemon didn't move from the bench to the active spot this turn, this attack does nothing. So we're constantly going to have to be moving our Pokemon from the active spot. Uh, I'm also using one of my favorite Pokemon, Rowlet, in this deck with Sky Circus. If you played a Bird Keeper from your hand during this turn, ignore all energy costs of this Pokemon. So we can use Wind Shard for 60 damage to a benched Pokemon for free if we played a Bird Keeper. So not only are we uh, obviously having plenty of Bird Keeper, we're going to have four Bird Keeper in the deck to not only help us withdraw cards, but also those essential pivots. Bird Keeper could be used to either bring Hooper in for an attack with Assault Gate or Rowlet for a cheeky knockout. Uh, these Rowlets also help us a lot with early games, stopping our opponent from getting set up. We came against a lot of Galarian Weezing, and again, this helped us to knock out all of the coughing so they couldn't evolve them. Uh, I'm running Cape of Toughness as well because again some of our matchups meant that Hooper at 120 health is quite susceptible to getting knocked out. Bumping that up by 50 is huge, meaning most of my opponents need to get a two hit KO. We only run two though, they're not as central to the deck, but they are nice in a tough matchup. Uh, four Jirachi with Stellar Wish are helping us to get all the cards we need. Uh, once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in your active, you can look at the top five cards of your deck, reveal a trainer card there, pop it in your hand, and shuffle the other cards back in. Jirachi's now asleep. The nice thing about this, we can activate the ability and use all of our lovely pivots. We can use Scoop Up Nets, we can use Switches, or we can use Bird Keeper, or even Escape Rope, which we also run four of to stop Jirachi being in the active, bring in a Hooper or a Rowlet, depending on the situation of the turn, um, and get us some knockouts. I also teched in Zigzagoon. I didn't find myself using it that much, but in a few situations, it just did win me the game. If I needed an extra 10 damage from anywhere, Headbutt Tantrum was really helping me out. I also include Pokemon Communication, so if the Zigzagoons aren't necessary right in that moment but they're in my hand we can use Jirachi to maybe get communication and switch Zigzagoon from my deck into something else. Other cards we haven't mentioned yet are Energy Spinner. We don't run a lot of energy in this deck so this can be really helpful to just boost the chances of me getting something that's going to get me energy. Again, this is searchable with Jirachi. So we've got two of those in then again they're not essential to the main uh, mechanic of the deck but they are essential for making sure that you're going to be able to get those lovely energy. Uh, energy wise I'm, I decided with four basic dark energy and four hiding energy again this helps us with our hoopers and getting them on and off the bench because uh, as long as this card is attached to a dark to, uh, to a pokemon it provides a dark energy and the dark pokemon this card is attached to has no retreat cost so again that's helping that who those hoopers move around freely. Reset Stamp came in clutch a few times, helping me to reduce my opponent's hand size. If they, if we were battling for prizes back and forth, uh, it helps me by reducing their hand size. Ordinary Rod was helping me from preventing me from decking out, or if they knocked out too many Hooper or Rowlet, I could fish them back out of the discard pile. And Tool Scrapper came in useful a lot. I decided to put two in the deck in the end uh, where I can discard Pokemon tool cards. Now this helped when my opponents were using Big Charms, Cape of Toughness, or any other really frustrating item that I was like, no, no air balloons, thank you, get out of here. Um, and then of course, other cards we haven't discussed are Quick Ball and Great Ball. These both help me search for my essential Pokemon throughout the deck and just help with the overall consistency. 
Similarly, Marnie and Research, Professor's Research, they're pretty staple cards. I actually only run two Research and one Marnie in this deck, and it was perfectly fine with that combination. It's very low considering these two are usually staples in most decks, and will run three to four in every deck. But actually in this situation, discarding my hand wasn't really helpful, and although it gives me that big draw, most of the time I needed a Research, Jirachi was able to find it for me. And Marnie was mainly for hand disruption, where it shuffles mine and my opponent's hand back into our decks. It was, oh, my opponent's just gone and got every little piece of the puzzle they need to knock me out. Let's try and stop that. So let's pop this deck into action. Uh, yes, <laughs> I'm going to challenge one of my lovely friends uh, who is The Real Sunny Games on Twitch. Again, if you'd like to go and check out their channel, you're more than welcome to. Uh, and we're going to play... Again, to show you guys how the game works, so how the deck works. So uh, if that was all you needed from this video, feel free to head off, but pop a, pop a like if you would, that would be amazing. And obviously, if you have any changes you've made to the deck, let me know in the comments, I'm really curious. And again, um, I just really enjoy playing this deck. I wasn't actually gonna enter this tournament today, I didn't think I would have the time. Uh, so I was very, very fortunate that I was able to, and not only that, go and win it. So thank you again, Stephen, for running that event for us okay so we had to take a couple of mulligans but it's just what happens it's just what happens my hand isn't great here so i'm gonna hope for a top deck fingers crossed two mangino okay so they're probably running the they're gonna be running the chinchino that's gonna help them out considerably here this is interesting Okay. So, I'm actually in a difficult position here. I'm gonna go for an energy spinner, grab one energy, attach, um, professor's research. I'm discarding three switches here, which is huge, so I'm gonna have to be really careful for the rest of the game. But we should be all right. We should be able to recover from that. So I'm gonna grab myself a Jirachi. Great ball again. Um, a Rowlet would be nice. I'll take a Rowlet. And a quick ball, a tool scrapper away. And grab myself another Hooper as well to keep on the bench. Where we're going to be pivoting things around a lot. Normally I'm not one for oversaturating the bench, but in this instance, it's very important. Sadly, we couldn't get the pivot on the Hooper, so Assault Gate doesn't do anything this turn. Big sads. We'd always be hoping for a first turn knockout. I want to go second with this deck because I want to be able to play Rowlet with Bird Keeper and get a cheeky bench knockout and things like that. So going second is definitely optimal with this deck. Because we're not needing to attach a lot of energy, it's not really a problem. Hooper only relies on one energy and Rowlet we're not using any energy on ever. So we don't need to worry about attaching energy and really that's the only benefit you get from going first now that you can't play a supporter on your first turn as of the rule change. A score bunny. Okay, so Sunny is going to be playing Cinderace, which is interesting. Two Chinchino is pretty scary. That's, that's one thing. They're probably churning right now, trying to get some rare candy and Cinderace. Discarding, ooh, two switch, a welder and an Evo incense already. That's pretty scary. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this is a good situation. We can quick ball away the tool scrapper for a zigzagoon here. This is where our ziggies come in handy. Uh, pop a zigzagoon. Get 10 damage on the score bunny. Score bunny has 70 health. Rowlet does 60 damage with wind shard. So we're gonna bird keep it into Rowlet. And we're gonna go straight. Oh, actually, I grabbed another energy spinner and we might as well attach another energy to the spare Hooper. Let's not waste any attaches. Wind shard right into that score bunny for our first knockout of the game. Cape of Toughness, nice one. Can attach that to one of our Hooper and help us out, bulking us up away from those Cinderace because they hit hard. I don't remember what 
how much damage Cinderace's big attack does. But I'm pretty certain it knocks out a Hooper with 120 health. But one, ah, here we go. We're gonna see now. Ooh, okay. 190. Wow. So actually, we're not safe even with a even with a cape. We're not safe. Not safe from that Cinderace. And it has 170 health. That's huge. So in a in a single in a single price format, that is huge. We're gonna have to two hit KO it or dodge around it. We're ahead in prizes, and the race is going to need a little bit more time to set up. So I'm not too upset about this situation. We might be okay. Um, this Rowlet, this shiny Rowlet looks so angry. <laughs> Interesting that he's attached an energy to one of the Chinchino. The energy assist attack is actually quite helpful. Um, attach a basic energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon, does 40 damage, it's actually not that bad. So not only does Chinchino have a great ability, letting you discard a card from your hand in order to draw two, but also with getting that energy assist on the go, ooh, and here comes a flare strike. Go and take up my little burb. I'm sorry, Rowlet, I'm sorry. Okay, Jirachi time. So, the Stella Wish. Yep, um. An escape rope would be really nice here, but I'll take a switch. Not bad at all. Switch into a Hooper. I'll pop a cape on anyway, it's not doing any harm. And actually, I really like my hands, so I'm not gonna Marnie. And we're gonna assault gate this Cinderace. We're gonna two hit KO the Cinderace, which isn't a problem. I know they're going to take two prizes back, but they don't have any other Cinderace set up on bench right now. And it's going to take them at least a couple of turns to do that with no score bunnies in sight. So hopefully we've got this. Nate D comes on again. Okay, yeah, so Hooper's getting a knockout, but it's okay. We're fine. Once Cinderace is gone, we can catch up. We can catch up by taking out a few Chinchinos. Not a problem at all. Also, another talking point, um, the Chinchino, is that how you pronounce it? Because I, I, I've had a lot of debates about this with different people, uh, whether it's Cinchino, Chinchino, uh, Perry the cat's just popped on my lap again. If you haven't seen us on Twitch, she usually joins us for most streams. So come and say hi. <laughs> She's like, mother, put me down. Okay. Um, yep, so we'll go for a Jirachi again. We've got Scoop Up Net ready in hand, so that's not a problem. Ooh, hiding energy. So I'm actually really liking what we've got going on here. I'm gonna grab a Cape of Toughness. Attached to Hooper. Pokemon comms. Jirachi away for another Hooper. Attach the bench, put that lovely hiding energy on, gives this Hooper free retreat. Scoop up that Jirachi. Put the Hooper with free retreat down, Jirachi back down, and Marnie. Hopefully that won't help out Sunny. Okay, we've got a boss for next turn, that's really handy. So we'll go for Assault Gate here, knocking out Cinderace. They can't make another Cinderace this turn. So we're good for a little while and should be able to catch up on prices here. We've got this. Ooh, Ordinary Rod, here come the Score Bunny. Here they are. The boys are back in town. She looked like she was gonna jump up on the desk. <laughs> she like a treat. Is that it? You can have a treat. Good girl. Well yeah. Okay, well drawn to score bunny. 
Oh, if I could snipe that score bunny, that'd be lovely. Oh, and others too. And then there would do. But the one with energy would be really nice if I can get a cheeky snipe. We'll have to see. I could boss. We can boss his orders. Okay, we can boss his orders. So we're going to be okay. Let's. We've got the free retreat on this Hooper. Let's use it. Boss's orders a score bunny. Um, let's check the discard pile. We've got one Hooper in discard. I am going to Ordinary Rod here so I can definitely get it. Because I think one is in prizes. By what I was looking through the deck earlier. So we're going to play from communications for Jirachi away. Grab myself a Hooper. Hiding energy. And assault gate. Poor little score bunny away. There we go. Oh, this one doesn't have a hiding energy. Okay. Small misplay there. We're gonna be okay though. We've got another energy in hand. I can always hard retreat if I have to. He might, might get a score bunny ready this turn anyway. Meaning Hooper might kick the bucket. There he is, if he can welder onto it now. He can definitely get the energy from Giant Half. Rosa, okay. So no welder coming this turn. Unless they have some magical way to attach more energy to Cinderace. We're okay for one more turn. And can stay ahead in prizes. And even if another Cinderace comes at us, taking two more Hooper, we should be okay. We'll see. We've also got more bosses orders in deck only used one so far. Perry wants to go out the room now. <laughs> I'll let her out in a minute. We're almost done, Perry. <laughs> it's single prizes. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Here's the next score, Bunny. Cinderace forward? Can they attack? Oh... Yes, with the ability, of course. Nice. Okay, Libero coming in clutch. Okay. I can't guarantee Jirachi is going to be able to get itself out of the active. I'd rather go for the guaranteed damage here. Hope something yummy on top tech. Rowlet's not bad. I've had two bunny prizes all game. I thought that might be the case. I did think. Right, we're well, great ball. I'll take a Rowlet. We'll thin the deck at the very least. But, and a Salt Gate. We're definitely going to get hit here by the Cinderace for 190. Perry, if you're bored, come and say hi. And we'll go out in a minute. <laughs> She's like, no, I will cause anarchy. Perry. Up for a few minutes. No? Okay. Cats will be cats. Last strike of the knockout. Ah! Okay, this is getting a bit worrying. They're wow, slow evolving into a rabu there. Stella Wish. Ah, no! Even reset stamp isn't really going to help me here, unfortunately. But we'll try. We'll try and make it help me out. Uh, they've got three cards left in deck. We might be able to stall it for, for the win. Might be able to stall it out. Let's pop another Jirachi on bench and wait. Sunny and I didn't actually get to play in the tournament. We never got paired against one another, so I didn't get to play against this Cinderace deck. It's very interesting. Striker. Need to go with Jirachi here. Okay, interesting. I think we go with the guarantee here. Go for a Stella Wish, grab a Great Ball. Third keep into Hooper. Nice, got another bird keeper, that's really good news. And go 
Piper and Sulky knocking out Cinderace. If they can revolve the Rabu, I'm in trouble. They risk decking out if they use Make Do. We've got two cards left in deck. Now they've got one. <laughs> okay, so they're going to deck themselves out. They can evolve, but can they get a final energy onto Cinderace using Libero? Yes. Yes, they can. And they can take their final prize. GG, Sunny. That was awesome. So, in that situation, if we'd have got paired, I'd have been defeated. But you get you get to see how the deck works, and I'm not going to be dishonest about how uh, we would have done in that situation, and I'm not going to admit l losing and winning from from YouTube because it happens, okay? <laughs> People lose. But you get how the deck works and that's all I wanted to show you guys since we did do well today. I'll also post the deck list in the comments below um, or in the description even. So please go check that out when you have a bit of time and thank you so much for watching. Please come join us on Twitch on twitch.tv forward slash pumpkin Amy sometime. See you later.